Chapter 10 That night they made camp gathering firewood and food, berries, a few apples. Kalik hunted down boar and elk. Misty lit the fire with her magic. They all sat around eating quietly. The angel woman stood, all eyes focused on her. I want to thank you all for saving my life. If you hadn't... Yeah, don't mention it, Lloyd interrupted her. We have to stick together. Humans, elves, dwarves, even angels. With the orcs' attacks becoming more dangerous than the last, we can never be too careful. One person saved is another for our arsenal. She nodded. The name is Liana. She smiled. They smiled as she sat down. So what's our next move? Lexion asked. We need to head to Korhal to find Valesra. Misty could feel the eyes on her as she spoke. Valesra? You mean the ancient protectorer? Misty nodded. Yep, that's the one. My mother has entrapped her soul into one of the roses. Her body lies somewhere on Korhal. You look troubled, Misty, Valrook said from across the fire. Yeah, I am. I never thought my mother could ever conspire with dark gods, or demons for that matter. Xander called her their mistress. Just who is she? I feel like I don't know her anymore. Maybe you can try to reason with her, Viviana charmed in. You are her daughter. Maybe she will listen. Misty shook her head. No, the only way to stop Makora is to kill her. Lloyd chopped down on a blueberry. Well, at least you'll have a, all of us by your side. Misty's gaze fell to his. You mean you all want to come along? Viviana and Lloyd nodded. You helped us take care of the forest monsters. We've seen what Xander could do. I'm sure it, it won't become any easier. Misty's eyes fell to Valrock. I am with you until the end. She focused on Lexion and Liana. It was my promise to you that if you help me save Liana, I would help you. I'm still holding on to that promise. Misty met Kalik's gaze. We've been through the hell of Grimdahl. You saved me when I could have bled out, so of course I'll be helping you succeed your mission. Misty couldn't help but smile. It made her feel empowered that she had friends to rely on. A messenger bird landed in front of her. Take heed when you open that message, a familiar voice said. Everyone turned to see a man in black robes and a hood covering his face. He took off his hood. Misty's eyes widened. Marvin, what are you doing here? He grinned. Like I told you before, I'm here to help. Misty unfolded the letter to read. Misty, I hope it's not too late by the time this letter reaches you. I have bad news. Makora has taken Lazarus and has killed my father. The kingdom, Korridal, is gone. Her cult has slaughtered everyone here. I've seen an airship, most likely belonging to her. She is heading to the Well of Mana. I pray you are on your way to Korhal. I need your help. Please, Misty. If, if I die, please find Lazarus. Oh no, Misty whispered. What is it? asked Falruk. Makora attacked Korridal. She killed King Dranthel and has taken Lazarus. We leave by dawn, then, Valrock assured. She will not escape this time. Misty shook her head. No, we leave now. We can't wait any longer. Marvin smiled. I have griffins for us to fly to the coastal city Palmkala. There we will meet someone and set sail by boat. Marvin whistled. The flapping of wings filled the air. Three griffins landed. Their yellow beaks dipped down as they bowed their heads. Their massive claws dug into the dirt. They paired in partners. Valrak and Kalik, Lloyd and Viviana, Misty and Marvin. On the last. The angels took flight alongside the griffins. They now headed to the coastal city, Palmkala. And that is the end of the chapter. So, what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'm very interested to hear what you guys have to say. Um, well, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, we are definitely nearing the end of the story. Um, so, thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And remember to be the best you can be. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!